Hey guys, it's a beautiful morning and welcome back to another episode of Fish Tokyo Vlog. Now, for this episode, we're just going to have a continuation from our previous video about how to groom your goldfish. And this time, we're going to talk about the tank setup or the aquarium setup for grooming your goldfish. Now, one thing we need to remember about grooming your goldfish is that they really need a, a very good condition to allow them to grow to their full potential. Now, this is very important when it comes to grooming goldfish because uh, your aquarium will become their home and we need to really take care of them. So, one thing you need to uh, understand is that Grooming goldfish is not about just food or just about the genes, no? It's also about their environment. So as one of our, uh, one of the reputable uh, breeder in uh, Butuan have said, uh, Sir Vargas, a PNP uh, police officer, uh, there are three factors that uh, really needs to be considered when it comes to grooming and that would be the genes, the food, and the water condition. Now, the water condition really needs to be, as much as possible, very, very uh, good because uh, the goldfish, you know, it, it, it will be their home, it will be their, their place where they can grow well. Okay. So, what I'm going to show you is one of my setup. Now, this tank at the back, this is my uh, aquarium and by the way guys uh, I'm so fortunate uh, because one of these fish right here this goldfish right here the black one uh, a CFU line from uh, uh, Sir Crescent from Cagayan de Oro uh, has just won uh, third runner-up in the Backlash uh, Fishing Vibe International Goldfish Show online show and I'm really, really excited that I was able to showcase this goldfish. No? So, uh, one thing is clear is that uh, the tank setup works. You know, it, it really allows the goldfish to grow to its full potential. And, you know, I will share this to you now on, 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 on how I set up or how I set up this aquarium. Now, this is my 60 gallon uh, aquarium setup grooming tank. And the dimension of this is 48 inches length. And the width is 16 inch and the height is 18 inches. So, this is actually a standard, no? standard grooming tank. For goldfish so one thing we need to consider is the volume of the water the volume why because the volume is actually the indicator of which we can actually grow them for example this tank is a 60 gallon tank so the volume is high for its capacity so since it, there is much volume for this uh, small amount of fish inside it so it can be considered to be optimum now, the water doesn't get foul or doesn't get uh, dirty because of the volume of the water also consider the amount of fish inside so the fish that I put in inside this tank normally has the number of uh, from four fish uh, from three to six fish so here we have another setup and these are small goldfish so I only put in six goldfish and here it's it's just three goldfish because uh, this tank is actually smaller than this tank right here second is your aeration Aeration is very important when it comes to grooming your goldfish. Uh, this is because aeration can uh, give 
your the water high oxygenation level which can in turn make your goldfish very healthy also there are there are uh, effects of uh, strong aeration for example uh, uh, water movement no? good water movement can actually help your filtration to do better as well as of course there are there have been uh, talks about aeration helping your goldfish to have good uh, or better uh, finage you know? your finage will become stronger and of course th these are just uh, some of the things that some people say about the aeration but for me of course the aeration plays a vital role in the water condition you know? so it, it allows the fish to really thrive inside your aquarium you know? and also it helps your filtration okay so here I have actually two ways of the aeration number one is the air disc uh, this are uh, this this is a uh, aquarium accessory in which uh, it allows air you know, coming from the uh, from my compressor right there to be break breakdown or to, to be broken down into much smaller particles you know, much smaller bubbles so this allows uh, strong aeration rather than bulk bulk uh, air is coming in. So another one is the uh, sponge filter. Now, sponge filter plays an important role also in your grooming tank. Now, sponge filter has different uh, functions. Okay, number one, of course, the aeration, right, as you can see here, and number two, and probably one of the more important uh, thing about the uh, the sponge filter is the sponge itself now this sponge as we have discussed in the nitrogen cycle has actually a lot of pores in it and smaller holes so uh, beneficial bacteria can really uh, live in this uh, sponge okay so our beneficial bacteria even without our filtration our main filtration it will allow the the water condition to be greatly affected you know it, it can optimize the uh, filtration even more okay now another thing that that a sponge filter could do is of course the clearing of the water a sponge filter because of its mechanics allows to allows it to absor uh, absorb a lot of gunk or dirt or small particles of uh, dirt and which in turn makes your tank clear now this is actually one of my secrets why my tank is very clear I use a sponge filter uh, in my tanks right so this is not a requirement although it would help a lot when it comes to grooming your goldfish okay now one thing we need to consider also is the filtration okay our filtration system now our filtration system will be the one of the most important thing we need to consider when it comes to grooming our goldfish because uh, the filtration will be the one the, the the main factor of the water of your water quality so the better the filtration is of course the better the water quality now as I've seen in my previous video on cleaning my uh, uh, filter box uh, you have seen of how much it can actually uh, clean you know the entire tank so it was worth of six months of uh, uh, cleaning and you know it, it was really effective so right now for this tank you can really see that it's clear and there's no waste inside the water so the filtration works very fine right so just a brief information about my filtration system uh, I use a Sibillion 
aqua pump now this is a 25 watts uh, 2500 liters per hour aqua pump so it it allows water to go to come in here right down in the filter chamber and goes back up with a lot of filter media inside and then it goes back out here in this outlet right here and the water comes again clean in my uh, in the outlet so as you can observe the I don't really uh, allow the water to just uh, go down or make uh, too much pressure downwards okay so as far as experience is concerned uh, I don't also use uh, too much flow in the water for example using power head no? because before I joined a broad competition and it, it didn't go well because I had a uh, a, a uh, power head and the flow of the water keeps hitting my goldfish and it uh, deformed the fins the pectoral fin of my goldfish so that's it so uh, consider also the flow of your tank or, or I mean consider the flow of your filtration uh, when it comes to your filter system okay So sunlight has been uh, scientifically been proven, of course, to really affect the colors of uh, goldfish. So as for the tank positioning, I would consider near a window or somewhere where the sun can hit, but not really too much. Okay, as you can see here, this is actually a outdoor type of setup, but of course, there's a roof above it. So the sunlight can really hit it all day. So the sun, the sun actually comes in around seven, uh, around 8 a.m. to 12 noon. So it hits the aquarium, at least the part of the aquarium, and it allows to hit also the uh, goldfish. So the sunlight can actually really help out, especially the coloration of your goldfish so lastly we have here our overflow system you know uh, as you can remember in uh, in my previous video I've actually discussed this already twice and right now just to improve more the water quality of our aquarium I've actually installed this overflow system so that uh, I can just uh, turn on the faucet right here and of course it will overflow right here so the effect of that is that you know I no longer need to do any water changes right because of the flow of the water coming in the fresh flow of water and allows it to replenish my aquarium so this is one of the beauty of having a overflow system in your aquarium right so just a recap on, on the tank setup now so we need to really consider uh, number one the volume of the water to your water so this includes the tank dimension or the aquarium dimension and number two we need to consider the aeration number three we need to consider also the filtration or filter system and of course uh, the uh, tank positioning you need to uh, have your uh, place your tank somewhere where where sunlight can actually hit it uh, not too much but of course not too less also and lastly of course uh, as I've shared in my previous video the overflow system so that's that is actually the primary thing that I uh, do in my setup so I think that's it and I hope you learned something from this video and for those who haven't subscribed yet, you know, you can just click the subscribe button below and also the notification bell so we can give you the latest update of our 
uh, of uh, Fishtopia blog. So that's it. Happy fish keeping.